Okay, so what I have here are 13 coated strawberries and vanilla at the customer's request. Um, I'm gonna show you how I normally typically coat them in gold. So, um, yeah. Let's get started on the materials. I use a Wilton paintbrush. Um, it still has gold on it because I already got started. Um, also, your two duster brush at two different sizes. One is larger for larger application and the smaller one for the parts that you know you want to reach. Both will tin. Um, I have my disco glitter. It's a soft gold. And I also have my luster dust which is a Spanish gold. And the Spanish gold is a lot richer in my opinion. I really like using it because it just gives a more shiny effect. Also, what you'll need is a vodka. Does not have to be name brand, just a vodka. What it does with the luster, it makes it cohesive enough so that it can just stick and bind. It makes the gold a lot more shinier. It makes any luster dust a lot more shinier and more pretty. Um, so we're just going to pour a little bit of that in a empty container. You don't want too much because you, you know, you're necessarily, um, just dipping. You're not drinking. <laughs> LOL. Also, you need the lid because you're, you know, it's a step process. I'll sh show you, of course. So, I'm gonna take my strawberry that's coated in vanilla. I'm gonna place it back down. I'm gonna first dip your paintbrush in the vodka and then place it on the lid just a little bit because what you're gonna try to do is get a pasty effect with the Spanish gold. So you're gonna go along the sides of the Spanish gold and you're going to make a paste out of it almost, so that when you're painting it on the strawberry, you know, it's, you can see that, you can see where it's applied, so you can see where to add some more where as needed. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of my luster and place it back in the lid, because like I said, I'm looking for a, a pasty consistency that is almost like this. Now, it doesn't look like a lot, of course, you're painting it so you're going to treat this as a canvas such as you no know, paper so you're going to you know paint it cover it all over and you don't need a lot less is always more in this aspect And you want to move quick because you don't want the alcohol to um, dry up on you. Because when that happens, it creates like a, it takes the takes the glitter away when you're applying it. So you just want it to be really wet and shiny. Take the large brush as shown and dip it. You don't need a lot of this. Just dip it along the sides. I need a good dip. Dip it along the sides and just do a circular brush motion all around. And you can do the same thing for um, for your cake pops as well. Um, the bigger brush is more so used for the cake pops because you know it's quicker coverage and it's not out here looking crazy. Um, and make sure you get the sides of it. You wanna definitely always keep the stems of the strawberry on because it gives you a better holding grip for your dipped gold strawberry. That's, that's pretty much how you do it. I'm gonna do one textured one for you as well. So you can see how the, the levels and 
which brush works best. Um, like I said, you want to move quick because you don't want the alcohol to more so dry up on you and make the process a little bit more tedious than needed. see that even with let's move these out of the way you're gonna see that even with the larger one you still may need to go back in with the smaller one and clean up where it didn't necessarily hit on the strawberry make sure you dust off the excess and Oh no, the stem came off. That is your covered strawberry. Yum, so pretty. So that's pretty much it. And these are the difference between the two brushes as well and why you need both of them at the same time. Also, you know, you can go to any K-Guard store. Please disregard the top because it's been through some stuff. Um, go to the K-Guard store and get this as well. It's a nice, it's a, it's a different way of distributing the luster dust among the, you know, among the coat. And this is more so the drier color, and I can show you that in another video. So that's it. And voila, and that is how you do dipped covered strawberries. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me how I did. Be my friend. Tell me what more you want to see. Whether you want to see me do cake pops, I'm probably going to show you anyways. So yeah, enjoy. Thanks so much. Have a great one. Bye.